Agents Morton Phil, all is peaceful until. Huh? Turn on the closed circuit TV, Mort. Right ho, boss. Here goes. Mort, oh. you should have pushed the button on the right, you idiot. Ah. That button turns on the oh. defensive. Sorry, I throw forgot. You. You. Oh, oh it's our good friend Beastface. Have you been on holiday? You got a nice tan. Ah, show you a good tan. Mr. L wants you both over at headquarters immediately and make sure no spies follow you. It's top secret. Wow, a top secret mission. This should be fun. If there are any spies watching, we mustn't let them think we're going to headquarters. I've got an idea. Hmm. If we walk backwards, the spies will think we're walking away from headquarters. Uh, That's sure uh, to confuse them. Mort, I want you to walk over here. And when you get here, I want you to turn around, okay? You mean like this? You got it, Gummy! Wow. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> get your face out of my breakfast. This is really healthy <laughs> stuff in here. Nuts, oats, plenty of bran. Stop horsing around, Mort, and get over here. Okay. I know what we'll do. We'll use a secret entrance hidden in the wall. No one knows it's there. Boy, am I glad that's finished. That's the toughest poster I've had to stick up all week. Here we are, boss. Uh-oh. Here it is. Huh? The secret button. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> have you any idea how long it took me to put that up here? Well, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> Don't talk. Just crawl. Mr. L's waiting for us. Come on. Huh? We're here, sir. What's taking you so long? We came the back way, you see? I have some exciting news. A famous scientist is working for our organization. Oh? Uh, a famous scientist? Oh, yeah? It wouldn't be Dr. Bacterium, would it? Ah! Oh, it's him, all right. It sounds like he's been inventing again, Mort. Oh, what happened? An experiment with exploding mothballs didn't turn out as ah. I expected. Dr. Bacterium has been working on a series of amazing inventions that will help all our secret agents to fight the enemy, and you two are going to test them out. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. We'll start with these harmless-looking gloves. Now put them on and see what they do. You must be careful with them. They are very powerful. I call them my plier gloves. The old plier gloves. Using the latest grabatonic system, you can hold on to the enemy with incredible force. Oh, I think my good friend Drip knows the dairy farmer should try these out for us, boss. Come on, let's go! Well, Mort, I just hope you know what you're doing. I've never been a human guinea pig before. Whoa, it's really exciting. Huh, chew! Oh, doll, I've got a cold. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, my What's nose! Up? The glove! Huh? I can't let go! Come here! Pull! Oh, I'm oh. Trying. My nose looks like a giant red pepper! I'll put them on. You need a delicate touch for this sort of thing, and I've got a delicate touch. And now, I'll try them out. Hey, Phil! Hey, hey buddy! It's the great hey. kid gloves! Why, I haven't seen you since you won the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship! Give me hey. five, kid! Sure thing, Phil! Sorry, You're kid. crushing my no. hand, Phil! I'll stop it! It hurts! Hey! <laughs> While you were unconscious, I delivered the plier gloves to Drip Nose the dairy farmer. Let's see if he's getting to grips with them. Yeah? Mm. I don't want to see him ever again. 
Oh, come on, boss. Let's go and watch him in action with Drip Nose. These gloves really get a good grip on Daisy's udders. The milk's pouring out. Mm -hmm. oh, Daisy's baby girl! Oh. Hi, Drip Nose. Did Daisy like the gloves? They nearly pulled the runners off, you idiot! Take that! Oh. And that! I'd better call for that. Not for Daisy, but for Mort. No, 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 no. That's my oh. duck. Oh. Ah, agents, Mort and Phil, you're already back with your trial report, I expect. But tell me, what is that apparatus for? I call it my GGSS, a glove for grabbing stupid scientists. Bacterium certainly got to grips with it. Who's that knocking at the door? It's Beast Bay. You could be a spy. If you are Agent Beast Face, then put your foot under the door. Ow! Hold that. Yep, you're Beast Face, all right. Mr. L wants to see both of you. What if we don't want to go? Huh? <laughs> Let's have a laugh with him. Oh. You ain't got no choice. That guy has no sense of humor. Let's Boss. hope the gorilla's got a good grip, huh? No! Oh. 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 There's a new secret entrance to headquarters over here. Let's give him the password, Mort. Okay, we're all clear. Smoking, Smoking pine, pine on, on yellow, yellow sign. sign. Yep. In you go. Huh? I've been waiting for you two. Well, we're, we're here. here. Dr. Bacterium has another invention for you. No way, Chief. Kill no your beast face to try out. Maybe you'd like to see my holiday oh, video again. No, anything no, we'll but do that. It. We'll Just do give it. us any invention, Chief, but we'll check it out for you. Uh, here's Dr. Bacterium right on time. This is called a dimension reducer. As you know, the human body has three dimensions. Mm -hmm. But if you focus this ray at yourself, you will reduce your own body thickness. It is possible to disguise yourself as a piece of paper, for instance. I want you to use this invention to get inside the spies club and find out what they're up to. Now Ooh. get going! Let's go, Mort. Amazing! To think that this can turn you into a piece of paper, I want to try it out! Here it goes! Hmm? May! Would you look at that? Dr. Bacterium was right. <laughs> hey, boss, you look like a train ticket. Ooh, help me, Mort. I'm being blown away by the wind. Jump help me. Whoa, get me down, Mort. Whoa. I'm on my way, boss. I'll try zapping you with the ray again. Oh, jeepers, I hope this works out. So do I. <laughs> Ooh, are you okay? Hey, boss. One minute, you're just a piece of paper. The next minute, you're a dead weight. Are you okay, boss? Shut up! Uh, now the wind has stopped blowing, let's use it again. Don't put that thing at me! No! Ah, more! Huh? Oh no, those speeding cars have created a whirlwind! Hey, look at that, a big paper doll. I'll stick a pin through him and put him on the first person I see. Yep! Whoa! Put me down, you hoodlum! Ow! Oh! Whoa! Hey, a paper doll indeed. He must be talking about the boss. I'd better go and pick him up. That kid back there really gave me the needle. Wow, ah, what a nice piece of paper. Just what I'm looking for. I'll use it as a scarf to keep my neck nice and warm. Holy shamoly! The guy has tied the boss in a knot. I'd better rescue him. All right, schmucko. I'll teach you not to wear the boss as a fashion accessory. Hey, mister, if you want to ride, get in a taxi cab, huh? That's the trouble with being poor. People keep getting on your back. Don't worry, boss. Third time lucky, huh? What? Give that to me. Come on. Okay. No! Huh? Oh. Where's my poster gun? Huh? Oh, yeah. Now I see it. Now, where is he? Hmm. Mort! Boss! Ooh. Mort, get me down from here at once, do you hear me? Come on! You know something? You could have a big future in wallpaper. One more joke like that and I'll give you a good pasting now. Get me down! Here's the spy club. How do we get in? I'll slip in through a crack in the door. Hey, it sounds like someone's frying eggs in there. This old paint is really tough. I'm glad I've got the blowtorch to help me. I'm inside, Mort! Ah! What's wrong, boss? Oh, no! Fire! Ah, you're back, boys. Did you find my invention useful? Uh, uh, oh, no! Don't point it at me! Ha! Let's see how you like ah! it! So long! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! 
a bomb air from here, George will carry me for miles. Calling Beast Face. Fetch me agents Morton Phil right now. If they refuse to come, use special persuasion technique number seven. Just get them here, Beast Face. I'll enjoy using the persuasion technique. Not too much now. I hear you, Chief. Over and out. Oh, the next time you want to oh. use my secret bone, take it off my foot first, you dummy. Five, six, seven. <laughs> ah, here it is. <laughs> Here they are, and it looks like Beastface didn't need to use the special persuasion techniques. They look completely normal. I'm really proud of you boys, the way you came straight away without Beastface having to persuade you. Hmm. <laughs> I should have known it. They're electrically charged robots. Those two won't get away with this. I'm going to make them pay. I'll make them pay. <laughs> I bet the chief had a really shocking time when he met those robots charged with 10,000 volts, eh, Mort? Hair raising. No, hey, waiter, ready for a suit? <laughs> Right away, sir. Hey, I think I recognize that face from somewhere. Your soup is served, gentlemen. It's called Smackaliki. I hope you enjoyed it. The bacterium has got a new invention for you back at headquarters. These are called anti-gravitational shoes. Whoever wears them is free to levitate from the Earth's surface. There's no way I'm putting those on. Oh, no. You put those shoes on or I'll blow your brains out. Ah, excellent. It looks like something's been eating your socks, boss. <laughs> hey, now I gotta have this room disinfected. Well, what do you expect if you don't change your socks for six months? <laughs> well, they're wrong. Let's see what they do. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa. No. Silly me, I forgot to tell you not to wear them indoors. Too many ceilings. <laughs> you have lousy timing, Dr. Bacterium. What are you doing? I'm taking you out into the street where you won't hurt yourself, boss. Are you sure that's Gee, a boss, idea? you're so lucky you can fly free as a bird. Oh. Wait till I get down. If that girder wasn't there, you'd be up in space Shut by up, now. Shut up, D-Brain. You wear these shoes. Oh, no, now. not me. The chief gave them to you, remember? <laughs> okay, I'll do as you say and put them on. Just don't prove my proboscis. It's the only one I've got. Hey, I'm really flying. <laughs> Up we go. <laughs> Detonate is all set, boss. The building's ready to blow. Good work. Seven sticks of dynamite should be enough. Uh, oh. I thought you wanted to go down. I guess you missed me, huh? Hey, don't grab me too tightly. You'll mess up my tie. We're falling too fast. We gotta get rid of some weight. I'll kick off my shoes. It's no good. We're still too heavy. Try throwing my shoes away. Don't do it! Oh. Sometimes more you dumb with the dirt, you know that? There's just no pleasing you today, is there? Some strange looking birds up here. That one down there frees fire and doesn't fly with wings. It's not a bird, it's a plane, you dummy. Being hit in midair by a supersonic jet certainly clears the wax out of your ears. Mort, shut up! Ah, gentlemen, you're back. I trust the invention worked well for you. Uh, why are you looking so angry? What have I said? Now, keep back, keep back. Don't touch me. Ah, no. We thought that you'd be tired after all that inventing bacterium, so we made you a bed. Not an ordinary bed, though. A bed of nails. <laughs> we gotta hide, Mort. Mr. L is looking for us again. I'll bet he wants us to test out another one of Dr. Bacterium's crazy inventions. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Any minute now, Beastface will show up. You'll see. No, you're wrong, boss. If Beastface does turn up, he mustn't get in, okay? King Kong oh. wouldn't be able to get past that padlock. Don't be too sure, Mort. Rhinoceros is Beastface's <laughs> middle name. We gotta keep him out. Whoa. I'm telling you, Mort, I couldn't handle Beastface knocking at the door again. Oh, he wouldn't do that. How can you be sure that Mort the man's an animal? <clears throat> Beastface? That's my name. Now, we're going to headquarters. <laughs> Ah, you're right, I'm an animal. Now I pack my trunk. Let's go. <laughs> huh? Mr. L, mission huh? accomplished, sir. Oh. Well done, Agent Beastface. Just put the case down on the floor, would you? Yes, sir. Oh! Those two wingers are never happy unless they're complaining. Yeah. I gotta get those two dummies off my grandfather's First World War trophy. It's a very valuable souvenir. Come on, unpack yourselves. I've got another invention for you to try out. Do we have to? Here it is. My latest invention is called an electron bombardment beret. 
It's a highly directional electric mm. personal defense system. Right, you two, I want you to take Dr. Bacterium's latest state-of-the-art technology, put them on, and stay one jump ahead of our enemy. Why don't you give us a striped jersey uh -huh. and a bunch of onions as well? <laughs> oh, 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 get it! Oh, 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 oh you foolish fellow! You put the baryon inside out and activated it, giving yourself a shock. Well, that's very interesting, I don't think. No, Try this no, 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 no. <laughs> Bacterium's a real basket case. <laughs> Get me out of this fight. You know, boss, I think these berries make us look kind of neat. I feel quite intellectual. Huh? Hey, look, guys, here's two yeah, old friends. Yeah, they look really stupid. Shut up, you long haired layabouts. The kids of today show no respect. Hey, look at that. A button's falling off my coat. Ah! Gee, I'm sorry, boss. It just went off. What a shocker. You know, I can't help feeling that these berries are going to give us a headache. Nearly finished. Ah! Yeah. Hey, boss, are you okay? I thought I just heard a crack of lightning. No, oh, I feel oh. like I've just been plugged into a light socket. Oh. Oh, there. I'm not putting that berry back oh. on, Mort. No way. Really? You better get rid of yours, Mort. Throw it away at once. Okay, boss. I'll use my discus thrower disguise and chuck it. Ready? Yeah. Over, I'll take you to the knacker's yard. Rex City Car Park police are looking for two suspects wearing silly French berets. Do you think we've done the right thing, Mort? No, we should have attached them to a high tension wire. The current would flow through them much quicker. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Yeah? You sure? Follow me. Huh? 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 Oh. You wanted to see us? Mm-hmm. You bet I do. Dr. Bacterium has got his next invention ready for you to field test. No, no way. way. Uh, We're out of here. Whoa. Come back here, you pair of lily-livered cowards. I brought back the guinea pigs, Dr. Bacterium. Here they are, willing and able. This spider scooter will help you to climb the walls of the enemy headquarters. If the door is shut, just go through the window. Go and test it out and send in your report. Got we'll it? probably end up sending it from a hospital bed. Come on, Mort, let's take this thing for a spin. This is fun. Hey, what does that plaque say, Mort? I don't know. Look, there's a wall. Let's see if we can climb it. Go steady, Mort. Hey, this spider scooter really works. Read what the plaque says, Mort. The vibrations are making me shake too much. Let's stop and read it. It says... Whoa! It said when the engine's turned off, the scooter loses its climbing capabilities. <laughs> then what did you go and stop for? Sorry, boss. I expect the scooter's ruined. Huh? No, it's okay. Come on, let's take her for a spin up another wall. This spider scooter climbs real well. Watch that open window more. Whoa! Traffic accidents every day. The streets aren't safe anymore. Huh? Yeah! Oh! Find the door, Mort. No, oh, no. I said find the door, Mort. Put my foot on the floor, okay? Just sit back and relax, boss. Whoa! Look out, Mort. The elevator is open. Of course it is. It's not... To speak to the caretaker. That lift sounds like it needs oiling. No! Ah! Look, another wall that's climbing! Ah! They see the cement no! still wet. The parking lot's further down the road, you guys. Ooh, are you uh -huh. thinking what I am? I sure am, Mort. Let's go. Uh -huh. no! <laughs> Boys, did you enjoy taking the spider scooter out for a spin? It climbs walls beautifully, yes? <laughs> uh, tell me, why are you covered in cement? What happened to you? Did you have an accident or something? No, no, you're fine. 
your candles, this will be pleased. Our beloved Dr. Bacterium is taking his scooter on one last trip right into the volcano. What a pity. Jumping Jehoshaphat, oh, I don't believe it. Agent Beastface has come looking for us again. Oh. Don't you worry, boss. I've got a surprise waiting for Beastface. Come over here, let me show you. Watch this. Hee hee hee, I built a trap door. Uh-huh. When Beastface falls down there, he'll come face to face with a man-eating tiger. <laughs> oh, no. let's let him in. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> Open up, I know you're in there. <laughs> it's not locked, Beastface, come in. <laughs> Listen to that tiger. No more Beastface. Hey, Come guys, on. you should get this loose floor tile fixed. I fell on something. Oh, how could you? Tigers are an endangered yeah. species, you know. It's all a secret agent. Look at the poor fella. He's had all the stuffing knocked out of him. You coming quietly this time? Looks like we ain't got any choice. What's right? <laughs> Here they are, Mr. Al. Yeah, we're here, but we ain't gonna try any more Bacterium's dangerous inventions. That's right. You hear that, Beast Face? They refuse to cooperate. Oh, do they? Please. I think a bit of fresh air will help them to change their minds, Mr. Al. Well, guys? Yeah. I knew you'd see reason, boys. Ah, Dr. Bacterium, what do you have this time? This amazing liquid is called Ghosticide, and a tiny bit of it will allow you to do incredible things. Huh? Like what? This will allow you to walk through solid brick walls. If you think I'm going to drink that stuff, you're wrong. You drink it. We won't. Peace, fans. Whoa. Whoa. Unless Agents Morton Phil change their minds, I think they need some more fresh air. Okay. <sighs> Finished. Finished. Hmm. Now off you go and report back with the results. I don't like the sound of this ghost music. This is to testify that I, Agent Mort, being of sound mind and body, leave my entire estate to the animal charity. Get out of here, you dumb uh, bird! Let's see if you can walk through this wall, Mort. Okay, boss, though I'm not sure it's gonna work. Wow, Bacterium's ghost juice really works. Hey, boss, it really works. I went clean through the wall. Wow. What's behind the wall? Not a thing. Stand back, I'm going through. No, boss, don't do it. Whoa. Whoa. Why did you do that? I told you there was nothing there, didn't I? There's only so many bumps a bump can take. Glad to see you're okay. <laughs> Follow me. There's another wall over there. Not me. You go. Okay. Whoa. I'm gonna get a bullseye. <laughs> oh, my nose, you little brat. Come here. Oh, mommy, a man just came from the wall and slapped me. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if the ghost juice works on this wall. No. Oh. Oh, what a landscape. The color and texture of this painting are so alive, it's as if someone could be actually walking through it. Hello, yes. excuse me. Oh. Hey, Joe, I know you take your art seriously, but this is crazy. You've been moved by paintings before, but none oh. of them ever knocked you out. Hey, I went in there, but some guy was staring at the wall. Weird, huh? Just the guys I'm looking for. Jeremiah Diplodocus. Yeah, that's my name, Ball. Now come here. What an ugly pair. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Whoa. Let's go. Come on, boss. We'll run through that wall. Diplodocus won't be able to follow us. He'll end up with his face plastered all over the brickwork. Bacterium said the ghost juice works for two hours, right? Right, boss. Whoa. Oh, I hate that guy. Gotcha. <laughs> Cooey. Now don't touch me. <laughs> oh, dear. Dr. Bacterium isn't going through the wall very easily, is he? <laughs> What a shame we gave him soda pop instead of ghost juice. <laughs> <laughs>